What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Man, it's been a while. For some reason today I was like, you know what? I'm gonna pick up the camera. I wanted to make a video for you guys. So I was at work earlier. Right now I am taking a lunch break. I'm about to get some food. I also wanted to pick up a new paint mask. I have an Alfa Romero in the booth right now that I'm about to paint. So I just, I just wanted to make a video for you guys because it's been a while for one. And I want to see how you guys like these type of videos. Just me at work. I'll kind of explain what I'm doing and hopefully you enjoy this video. So let's get started. All right, so here's one little update. This is my tow rig. I've had this for a little bit over a month now. I've been driving it a lot. She is pretty clean for a 2001. Um, I don't know if you guys remember when I first came back to Florida, I had a F250 that I had for a while and i ended up selling it because at the time i needed some money and i've been needing a truck since then i've been looking for a dually i wanted to get a dually so that way i can tow our boat whenever i wanted to take it out um and yeah now i can tow you know our trailers and whatever i need to do with it it's just nice having a truck especially when you're used to having one and you don't you know there's always there's always times that you need it and you don't have it so that's one update she's pretty clean Okay, so this is what I'm painting today. This is an Alfa Romero. Normally I would like to paint the bumper off, but this is how they gave it to me. And sometimes you just gotta do it with what you got. So this side, we're just gonna blend. I'm gonna go ahead and shoot a sealer on this whole side right here on the bumper. I'll shoot sealer on the fender. Uh, this door I have to blend. So I'll probably shoot a little sealer up to here and then just blend it there. And then on this side, they did body work there, so I'll shoot a little bit of sealer there, blend the paint to the door here, and then just blend it up here and then clear the rest. I still have to paint the trunk. So the trunk and then nothing on this side. So I'll have to paint the trunk. The body work goes on this side, so I'll go ahead and throw paint. I won't touch that side, so I'll just clear it. That way it'll look the same. The rear bumper is the same. There's damage here. I'll show it to you guys in a little bit. So I have to paint here and then clear it on that side so it matches. I also have to paint the hood. I'm just painting all that separate. So I've been working at this shop for a while now. Um, I am the only painter at this shop. All I do is prep and paint. So the body guys takes care of the rest and I'll just basically go over their work and uh, get all the final steps before I have to shoot it. So let's get this sealer mixed up. Let's seal it and I'll run you through the process. This is what I'm using for a sealer. This is a four to one. So I'll put four parts of this, one part of that, and uh, we'll get it mixed up. I also wanted to add that I am new to painting. I haven't been painting for that long. So um, this is not, I'm not telling you how to do it. I'm telling you how I do it. And I'm going from experience and I do have a lot of good painters around me that I have, you know, like my brother, I would always ask questions to. So don't think that I'm telling you this is how it has to be done because you know you always have those people oh you gotta do it like this gotta do it like that i know i'm gonna get that but i just want to put that out there yeah so go ahead and comment if you want to comment i'm using the sada jet 4000 b rp this is a 1.4 tip this gun i usually use for paint i've been using it for sealer too uh, this gun i use for clear coat this is the sada jet 5500 uh, HVLP. I've been putting paint through it as well. I do want to get a separate gun for clear. I think I'm going to turn this into just my paint gun, but for now I'm using both until I get a separate gun. Ideally, I want to have a gun for paint clear and also one to just throw sealer. But like I said, we got to do with what we got. All right, so before you begin spraying your paint or your sealer or whatever on the car, you want to make sure the surface is super clean. I couldn't tell you how many times I wiped this car down with wax and grease remover. Um, you can never clean it too much, but the last step is to hit it with the tack cloth. So I'm going to go ahead and run the tack cloth through it and we'll start painting our sealer.
shooting the sealer, I like to shoot the sealer thick. It's going to be way thicker than when you are painting, uh, when you are putting on the base coat, uh, just to keep that in mind. Just a good thick coat should usually do it, but it's okay to go ahead and put another coat if you see some scratches in it that you want to get rid of.
that's going to be it for this video, guys. I appreciate you guys for watching. Go ahead and leave me a comment down below. Let me know how you guys like these type of videos, and maybe I can do some more for you guys in the future.